Mike Smith is the CEO of Australia's biggest bank, ANZ. He joins us now. Mike, thank you so much for your time. Uh, as we start the new year, you've got big ambitions to grow in Asia. How do you see banking in Asia as we go through 2014? I'm still pretty positive about, um, about what is happening in this part of the world. Um, you know, I think off the back of a, a slow recovery in the US, um, probably a lack of surprises in, in Europe, um, and China actually continuing to move fairly well. I'm still fairly uh, optimistic. Uh, it's a low growth world, but at least it's a little bit more predictable uh, mm -hmm. than it has been over the last few years. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not in the camp of those people concerned about China, either its slowing economy or the risk from its banking system, its shadow banking system? Well, I think those risks are, are real enough. You know, I think that um, some of the issues, particularly in counterparty risks uh, of banks to the non-bank sector or to the shadow banking sector, um, are real enough. Um, however, if you look at it in, uh, from a big picture basis in terms of, of the amount of debt to GDP, it's still relatively um, contained in terms of uh, you know, a global comparison. I think the issue is... Um, uh, is really the rate of growth, you know, mm. and they've got to be careful that that is debt growth, and, mm. and they do have to contain that. Of course, apart from economics, we have some big elections in the Asia region this year, India yeah. and Indonesia. Yeah. Um, are they something that the banking community is looking out for? Yeah, I think so. You know, I think the um, obviously India um, has not been uh, growing at, at its at its full potential. Um, there is no doubt there is a, a, a you know, people are waiting the, the business confidence is not there at the moment so uh, they are waiting for that um, that election and I guess in Indonesia you know it's a little bit unknown and, and again certainty is something that uh, mm. business communities like mm. um, and uh, we saw it in Australia of course you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, last year a, a long void of, of certainty until the election was held I guess that time indeed <laughs> have conditions improved there now do you think um, look, I think the underlying economy is still going pretty well off the back of, of, uh, of commodities and, and indeed in terms of the, um, you know, the trade flows to, uh, to, to Asia. Um, there is a transformation happening in, mm. the, in the economy that needs to happen as it moves from a 20th to a 21st century uh, industries. But, um, yeah, I think it's, it's okay. I think business confidence is, though, still a little shaky. There's mm. still, th there, is a, um, there is a little concern. I think the scars were very deep. Yeah. Um, and it will take a little bit of time for those to heal, I think. And, and so far, the, you know, the, the new government is doing what it can to in improve that confidence. And that steep slowdown has so far been avoided. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, and again, I'm still pretty optimistic about the Australian economy. Yeah, it is a slower growth than it was five years ago, but then the whole world is. You know. And for ANZ, your growth strategy in Asia particular on track? Yeah, we're, we're, we're pleased with the way it's growing. You know, it's based on organic growth, you know, and that has always has been the case. Um, we've done a couple of small acquisitions. There doesn't seem to be the, um, the opportunities out there that there was before. Um, and we'll wait and see. Um, but grow, growing our business organically, I always think that's a, a good way to grow. You know, that's one time's book. I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> there's no premium. Good conservative banking, I guess. Oh, indeed. All right. Mike Smith from ANZ, thank you so much for your time. To read more of our interview with Mike Smith, go to wsj.com.